welcome to another edition of Top Beer, Top Beer Advent Canada, Brewdog One. Um, not sponsored by Brewdog, which it was, and I'll be getting this Advent Canada free, maybe a few royalties, but um, hey ho, <laughs> as uh, Santa says. But no, um, it's a frosty old cold day today, it's a defroster car this morning for the first time in a while. And as I'm hoping tonight, behind door number eight, number eight today, is a warming sort of like um, stout or something like that, you know. I've had a lot of blonde beers the last few days. I just fancy that, I'm not, not saying I don't like a blonde, but I really just fancy a dark one today. It's just to see what, so what's behind there. Oh, got a door right. I've done it correctly today. <laughs> so me. Oh, but the door says, it says, um, artificial Christmas trees were invented by a toilet brush company. That must have gone down the pan. <laughs> All my jokes are free, by the way. I haven't got so many money. Oh, oh, a big one tonight. Well, I'm say, ha 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 ha. Here's a big one. Ha, ah, all right. Candy kittens. Raspberry and Guava New England IPA. Ah, oh, right. I'm going to pause this video because I've got something to go with this. Back in a moment. I'm back. Um, I don't remember my first video um, eight days ago of this Advent calendar. Behind one of the doors was some candy kittens. Now, I never really heard of this um, candy till I've done this, but I'm, I'm getting older, so I suppose this young people might eat these. But say so it's uh, all matching. So I've got the um, candy kitten sweets and the candy kitten kittens um, IPA. That's not a dark beer, but hopefully it's a warming beer. Now it's a six percent ABV. I'm not a big fan of really sweet beers, so but I think this might be. So let's um, pour it and see, and uh, go from there and see where it goes up with the sweets as well. So here we go. It smells sweet. Oh my. Ooh, oh. oh my gosh. It's a real sort of pinky. Dripping a bit on the table there. It's a real pinky colour. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, <laughs> it's a bit dark. <laughs> I was asking for like, I want a darker beer. This is a darker beer. Let's say, uh, if you can smell that. I mean, it's Mellow Vision's um, out yet. It's really sweet. <laughs> really sweet. Oh. Now, last night's beer, started off really liking it, then it went downhill for me from there. So, let's see. Cheers. Not for me. Um, really sweet. Um, those that know me, I'm not a fan of a really sweet beer, but I do like, I don't mind maybe a sweeter stout, but not this sort of opening. No, it's, it's not, it's not, not for me, but it might be for our people. Let's go, I'm going to try one of these with a bit. Cause yeah, you've got really, it's, I think it's called food pairing. I'm quite good at food pairing, especially a nice beer with a kebab is nice. So, hi. Hmm, switch all right. Hmm, well, it's quite nice. So, what's it down for beer? Cheers. Quite chewy. I might fast forward this bit. Let's try it. I thought it might be better on a second gulp, but no. So, let's try and get some flavours out of it. I'll say, get a, like a, it says, uh, it says raspberry on the packet, but I'm getting more of a cherry sort of like, coming through, like cherry sort of uh, on the nose. Uh, pretty cool can to be fair. 
um, says on it, um, beer, but make it gourmet. <laughs> That's where Brew Dog is saying it's from. They say that the Candy Kittens Raspberry and Guava New England IPA. First time I've seen a full size can in an advent coach, is great. It explains how, why it's so heavy when I pick it up and put it back on the table each day. It will get lighter, on, obviously. Um, one, what lighter is one thing I'll never get, but keep drinking this beer. So, I'm gonna try one more time, third attempt to see if I can get this above a mark of a five in my head. No, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, it's gonna be more on lower scores. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a five. Um, I will finish it. I think I've only ever thrown one beer away in my life, and that was uh, that was a Belgium cherry beer many years ago at a beer festival. Uh, Marcus will tell you about that, and I just couldn't finish it. And very expensive beer as well from memory. But um, I think if I'd finished it, I think it would have been coming back on me later. So I will finish this. Before I go, I must talk about my jumper. It's Christmas jumper day today, so. Wearing my Captain America Marvel Christmas jumper. I think it was bought from Primarni a few uh, years or last year, a few years ago. Not sure when now, but quite forgot. I actually found a few more today. I forgot I had upstairs. So, but you can't wait to see those on this channel. Um, I have to start doing a new channel about jumpers, I think. So, no, I'm uh, really pleased with this um, calendar and I look forward to sharing more of these beers with you. Cheers.